been a good year. It's been a good year. A good year, man. It's been dynamite because it doesn't seem like it was only like three or four months ago. But I know it's longer. And we first met, you know. And in Tahoe. In Tahoe. You know, yeah. when we were doing doing all the things, and I fell in love with the group from the sound. And then we finally got a chance to meet each other. And it was an immediate report. I'll right? never forget that because of course, I, you know, I've watched so many of the talk shows and watched maybe 4,000 performers through the years sit and say, Sammy, you are without a doubt the greatest performer in the world. So to start off the evening, I will say, Sammy, without a doubt, you are the greatest performer in the world. Now, I won't take up your time with the pretty ladies either, but I gotta tell you one little story that you may not remember. That day, here I am working, it was the Mike Douglas show, if I right. remember that. Mike Douglas. Mike, and, and Mike, we were sitting in the dressing room, the girls and I, and I, Kirk Douglas was on that show, Sammy Davis, Wayne Newton, and us, new kids on the street. Right? <laughs> and I remember hearing this voice, where's my man? Hey, where's my man? Hold I'm sitting in my dressing room going, she got to be looking for Kirk Douglas. <laughs> I know he's looking for Kirk Douglas. So I poke my head out the door and I go, he's, he goes, there's my man, and I went, <laughs> Listen, you guys traveling on the road together You know, of course now, hopefully With the television series being so popular It's such a hit It'll settle down for you Like I hope this does for me What is it like for, for two ladies And a cat To be traveling on the road together? Because you know what everyone thinks <laughs> Hey, man, I'm just a dumb Puerto Rican, don't ask me. <laughs> it's not my job, man. <laughs> no, I'm saying, seriously, what is it like traveling on the road when you guys are traveling? During well, I'll speak for my side. Yeah. <laughs> leave it up to them to speak for them. But it's, it's been, actually, we've been together four years, Sammy, and uh, I love the girls very, very much. They're very close to me. It's a family. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm more proud, probably, for their success than I've been doing this for 16 years, yeah. since I'm a kid, and... It's a little more newer for them, and to see them grow and to enjoy it as they have and as gracefully as they have has been my grandest moment. Um, but what do you ladies say? About the road? About the road. You notice I didn't talk about the road. <laughs> I got out of that gracefully. I think. It's, it's, it's hard. Yes, you know, it's, it's really hard. I think it's harder for us because it's hard for a woman to live out of a suitcase. My God, your face, your clothes, everything comes out. <laughs> it's especially when sometimes it gets all smashed up and you pull it out and your makeup's running over your clothes and you go, oh no, she got to be on stage, you know. But it's been fun, too. We've had some really, really fun times out there. Well, you know, the thing that I like, Thelma, is the fact that <clears throat> you and Joyce have, on the show, you've gotten a chance to, to broaden in terms of the skit that you guys do, I love the uptown <laughs> skit. I love that. And I don't know how you make yourself so unattractive. <laughs> That's how we always look without all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it because it's so down. You know, it is really so down. Yeah, it is really. <laughs> <laughs> it is so beautiful. I never knew you guys. When did you think you were funny, for instance? Because you just don't take somebody because they got a lot of hit records and make it funny. You know what I mean? I don't know. My mother always thought I was silly. <laughs> Where are you from? Well, I was born in Louisville, Kentucky, yeah. and I lived in Detroit for all my life. Oh. And what about you, Joe? Detroit. 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 Born and raised in Detroit. But how did you guys do this together? I don't know. Who is he? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of news. That's oh. a lot of stories. That's oh. a lot of story. Oh, really? Girls were doing background Jesus. singing, Sammy, for, for many, many years with the Motown people. But well, wait a minute. Hold it right there. <laughs> background, Motown people. We'll be right back to hear the finish of the story with more Tony Orlando. <laughs> Long-time Atlanta Airlines, DC-10s, and Joy Venom's movie serials, newsreels, and the only coach bubble in the sky with electronic club time games and all club flights. Call your travel agent on Continental Airlines.
I would just like to say something before Tony continues the story, because we were talking about it. Studio people know we were talking about it, because they heard us. I mean, they saw us rapping together. <laughs> but, and I don't mean this to be a bore, but the mere fact that these three talented performers are together on network television, on a weekly variety show, and the show is such a success, there's a whole group of people that should be thanked. First of all, you, the public, then the network for taking the shot with it because we were mentioning an incident where 10 years ago, less than that, five years ago, it could have never happened in our country, where two ladies of color and a gentleman who's dead <laughs> would, have, would, have had, would have had their show. And I think that alone is a compliment to all the, the sensible people in America that they just found out. I want to hear how this came about. Go ahead, finish telling the story. Well, the girls were doing much, in, starting at a very young age, actually. They worked out of uh, Detroit with Motown Records and doing a lot of the recording there with, with Four Tops and just about everybody in Motown. And having hit after hit after hit, maybe three years worth of about, and I once just did a, a survey just to see if the statistic could be true, that they were, they were you talked about 25 million records that we've enjoyed. Mm. They as background singers, if you count Marvin Gaye and the Four Tops and, and Frida Payne and uh, I can't even remember, Isaac Hayes, mm. they are in the vicinity of about 70 million singles in terms, in terms of their voices yes. being on those records. So you know that when I was ready to do my record, <laughs> a song called Candida, best, never knowing in a million years with my producers, Hank Medris and Dave Apple, if I may mention them, because they've been with us for four years, um, never knowing that there was going to be a group formed. And after the record was a hit and we had a hit with Candida, Knock Three Times, and, uh, which was a novelty kind of record, but did like six million records, and that we respect, I decided to call the girls and ask them if they'd like to go on the road. They said, no way. <laughs> they said, we don't want no part of it. And I said, well, we're going to Europe. They said, okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you were making a lot of bread during the background thing. Well, at right? that time, like Joyce was in Detroit, and I was on the road with Isaac Hayes. I was a substitute singer for him. And we'd been approached by several artists who said, oh, when we make it big, we're going to take you here, and you're going to go there. And we were just afraid of that sort of thing. So until he said Europe, I had guys to choice. Uh, Europe, that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> <laughs> and it just worked like it had been, it was meant for it to be that way, you know? We worked, we rehearsed two weeks and left. And we've been together ever since. Well, it's... <laughs> they were fast learners. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a marvelous combination. When did, you said you've been in show business how long, time? I started out, I actually started with a young lady who's doing, I mean, you can't think of a bigger success than Carol King. Yeah. And Carol was my record producer and, and songwriter. I recorded a record in 1961 that some of you old record buffs out there may remember called Halfway to Paradise. And I, you notice how they remember it. <laughs> <laughs> and another biggie called Bless You. <laughs> we also got a few liars in your audience. Yeah. But both records were successful. It was in 1961, I was 16. I started out hanging around the Brill Building uh, when I was 13, recording demos with Bobby Darren and Donnie Kirshner. Bobby, may yeah. you rest in peace, a good friend of yours. Yeah, too much. Uh, and an idol of mine, by the way, a man I respected and loved very much, but that's then. And it took this time to get a follow-up hit. <laughs> 16 years it took me to get a follow-up hit. Well, I, I don't know what the combination <laughs> is, and I, you know, it's strange to me, having been in the business so long. And people, you know, I have young people who will come to me and say, I sing or I write songs, and uh, how do you get into show business? And I love getting people like yourselves to tell about it, because my, my background comes from, you know, by the time I was able to walk, I was on a stage. I had no choice. But I, and every show business story is different. There are no formulas. There, really is. You, there is none. You know, they knocked around, and after they had had the hit records, they did a summer replacement show, which is, there's only been a couple that haven't been the kiss of death for people. 
No matter how successful a summer replacement show is, you do that six shows or whatever it is, I think uh, Glenn Campbell did it. Was it Glenn? Yeah. Glenn yeah. Campbell did it, and one other person, Sonny, Sonny and Cher. Cher. Right. Yeah. Right. So uh, those were those were the exceptions, because usually you do that, and that's all you wind up doing is summer replacement shows. But to have their own hit show. That is so, I am so thrilled for you because you've earned your dues, man. I really mean that. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, after this word. Now, wait a minute, am I right or wrong now? You know, I thought so. <laughs>